Hello, this is Dan Fashionbauer from Video Pizzazz. And today I'm going to show you how to create a square video for Facebook and Instagram postings or for Facebook video ads using Camtasia 7. All right, so let's bring up Camtasia and I'm going to import an existing video. Pick this one here and I brought it in right here. Grab that video and slide it down into the timeline and I'll select 1280 by 720. All right, so this is normally the size video I would be working with. But today I want to change it to a square. So I'll come up here, click on this area here, select Edit Dimensions, deselect the Aspect Ratio, and I'm going to put in 1080p, or just 1080, and click OK. And they're just warning you that that's probably not a real good dimension to use, but it seems to work fine for me, so I'll click on Close. And now you'll see the black area here is now your square palette to work with. And it automatically resized my video to fit in that area. So now on this top area here and bottom area, I can put in some more additional text. So I'm just going to slide this over in here. And then I will click on callouts. Click this down arrow here. Click on the T for text. And then scroll down to the text input area, click in it, and paste in your text or type in your text. I'm going to type in three secrets revealed. I'm going to bold it. I'm going to make it a size of 72. And I'm going to change the color to white so it shows up. And then I'll grab this guy here and stretch this out across the palette. And then click outside of that area and that text got inserted. So now let's insert another text. I'll click on text again. And it actually overlaid this previous text. So I'll just slide this down here. And then slide this bar down to the text area input the text that I want. It kept the bold and the size from up on top here, but I want to make this a little bit smaller. So I'll use the pull down here, make this maybe 48. You got to select the text. So I'll slide it all up here, select all that text, and then make it 48. Boom. Then I want the text to fade in at the beginning, but I want to, don't want it to fade out at the end. Click on this here, come down, and I will leave the fade in, okay, but I will deselect the fade out. And then you'll see that this fade out area got removed here. Now I'll select the other text area and do the same thing. Deselect the fade out. Now I'll slide this one to the left, slide this one to the left, grab the back end of this and stretch it all the way out to the end of my video. Grab the back end of this text and stretch it all the way out to the end of the video. And I think I'm good to go. So now let's just play the video. All right, looks good. So now I'm ready to produce it. So I'll click on Produce and Share. And I found that the only one that really is suitable and keeps the aspect ratio and the pixel settings is the web setting. If you click on HD, it changes it to a 1280 by 720. And that's not what I want to do. I want to keep the settings. So I'll click on Web. And you'll notice that it kept the 1080 by 1080. It's still going to, I'll put it as an MP4, and I will click on Next. And I'll just name the video. And find the directory where I want to 
save it. All right, so it's going to be called square two, and it's going to go into this folder here, and I can just click on finish. Okay, the video has been rendered, and so I'll bring up my folder area here and find the file. All right, here's the square two. If I go into that folder, find the MP4 video right here, and play it. All right. Okay, so now that video is ready to be uploaded to Facebook and run a square video Facebook ad on it. Or, in my case, I made the video short enough that I could even run an Instagram ad on it. All right, so I hope it's useful, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.